Along with people staring at you, another common thing you surely witness on a regular basis when you are out there on the road is the view of a dog taking a pee on a car tire, isn't it? Wait, you don't have to answer that because I know I'm right. So, has it ever occurred to you why on earth dogs choose a car tire to pee on? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna explain a dog's logic behind this act. However, the result of this research is not written on stone kind of thing. The data would be more appropriate if our dog could whisper the secret behind this mischief in our ear. Dogs literally pee on everything in front of them because they love the act of leaving messages for other dogs through urinating. But car tires and poles seem to be their favorite place to pee. The logic behind this act is still unknown to many people so a group of dog experts have researched this dog behavior and came up with some most possible logic behind this act and called them dog logic. The first one is dogs love vertical surfaces. Dogs prefer to pee on vertical surfaces rather than horizontal surfaces because urine gets spread on a vertical surface like car tires or poles so the smell lasts longer. While horizontal surface, like the ground, eliminates the smell quickly by soaking it up. Research shows that dog's pee is directed towards vertical targets 97.6% of the time, which explains why tires are appealing to dogs. Number 2. Nose Height We already know that dogs exchange messages through their urine. So leaving the message at a nose height makes it easier to sniff for the recipient. The car tires and poles are within reach of a dog's nose, so they leave their mark at the level of the nose of other dogs. The question that might come to your mind is what type of secret messages dogs are trying to exchange by urinating on your car tires? Well, the good news is they are not conspiring to take over the human race. Their urine is full of surprising amount of information about themselves. Dog urine contains almost all information about them, like their age, gender, health information like if they are neutered or spayed, social status and even their stress level. That's surely a lot of information for passing dogs to take in. As we are almost talking about a dog sniffing in messages all the time, so why not learn a little about a dog's nose? How can they send so many messages through the smell of urine? Dogs also have something called the vomero nasal organ or Jacobson's organ located in their nasal cavity just above the roof of the mouth, allowing them to taste and smell simultaneously. This gives a dog the advantage of gaining so much information through the pheromones in other dogs' urine. Dogs can even smell how long ago a scent was deposited. Hound dogs have the best sense of smell compared to other breeds. Moving on to the third one, and that is marking the territory. Along with leaving messages for other canine friends, dogs pee on car tires and poles to mark their territory. Marking their territory is a fundamental way for dogs to communicate. It's like they are telling other dogs, Yo mate, I've been here. That's why when a dog notices that some other dog has taken a pee in a place, it can't help itself from peeing to leave its mark to leave its scent which carries a lot of information for its congeners. Number 4. Social Status Gain Our canine friends are naturally extremely territorial animals. All these peeing on car tires, bushes and poles are all a part of their social status gain. Intact or unneutered male dogs that are in a higher social order will always over pee on other dogs urine. They completely cover it with their own pee leaving no trace of the lower class dog's information. This sounds so mean, right? I never knew before that dogs were racist too. Number 5. An enticing blend of smells. Car tires run over different types of things like foods, 
garbage, roadkills, excrement, and even urine from other dogs, which makes the car a mixer grinder of smells. And dogs love these kind of blended smells and are drawn by such smells. So, you would find dogs sniffing around a car tire and leaving happy pheromones by urinating on the car tire. And as some dog has made the car tire a pee mailbox, the other would also pee on it to reply to the pee mail. Number 6. Dogs love the smell of rubber. Another reason why dogs pee on car tires is they love the smell of rubber. And as cars run over different places like from a dark pitch road to muddy and grassy ones, the smell of rubber enhances by constant friction with a pitch road and gets more attractive to dogs. It's even a common lichen seen in many humans who love the smell of burning rubber. Though, people who like this smell are considered rare human beings because their number is comparatively low. So, let us know in the comments section if you are also among those rarest people who love the smell of burning rubber. Number 7. Re-establishing Territory Dogs peeing on car tires is also an act of re-establishing their territory. As I said earlier that cars are driven to several places, so surely the owner would park the car in several places, allowing other dogs to pee on the tires. And after returning home, your dog would find out that some other dog has claimed your car tire as their territory. So your dog would pee on the tire to re-establish its own territory, eliminating the other one's claim. Many of you have asked me, do all dog pee on car tires? Well, the answer is no. You won't have to worry about your dog peeing on your car tire if you have a puppy. Even female dogs would relieve you from this tension too. According to a study, most female dogs take a piss in a squat position. Male dogs lift a leg to take a pee and they are the ones who are responsible for urinating on your car tires. However, not all male dogs lift their leg to pee until they reach the age of 6 to 9 months. After this age, you would find them next to your car seeking the opportunity to mark your car as their territory. Another question was, is dog urine harmful for car tires? Sadly, the answer is yes. Well, the problem is not the rubber tires but the alloy wheels. Dog urine contains chemical properties such as ammonia which is highly corrosive and can potentially damage your wheels paint given its chemical properties. The uric acid of your dog's urine if left unattended on the rims will cause corrosion, mar the finish and would eventually remove the coating on the aluminum wheels. Additionally, if your dog pees on your car tire frequently, the rubber material could crack over time due to constant exposure to ammonia. Wash your car immediately after a dog has urinated on it. Splash your car tire with soap water, rub it with a sponge and then rinse with clean water to protect your tires from erosion. How to stop your dog from urinating on tires? A dog's urine leaves your car wet and corrosive, but the wheel's rubber is resistant to it. Yet, the bad smell that the urine leaves and the protection of the color coating of the tire is the matter of our concern. The best way to keep your dogs away from your vehicle is to prevent access to it. A garage is the best way to keep your dogs away from your car when you are at home. When nearby your car, keeping your dog on a leash might help. As dogs trace the odor of another dog's urine and pee on it, remove the trace of odor to break the chain. You can try to redirect your dog when you notice his interest in the tires by throwing a ball or treat to keep them distracted. Train your dog to follow your command and use the cue word, leave it, when you find your dog is going near a car. You can reduce the habit of your dog's urine marking by neutering him with the help of a vet. To dogs, urinating is a way of communicating. 
So don't be cruel to your dog if it mistakenly urinates on your car tires a few times ignoring your command. Well, that's all for today guys. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you like our videos. And don't forget to like and share this video if you have learned something new. Until next time, bye bye